Hello and welcome to the first ever short clip uh, version of the Words Point Podcast. This is just a small snippet from number 72 with Bailey Rizak, uh, the Am I the Asshole Part 1. Enjoy. So the preference for the listeners, we, uh, I, I saw this off of a YouTuber that I watch. Bailey knows this. I saw this after out of a YouTuber I watched named Northern Lion. <laughs> and he looks up this Reddit page called Am I the Asshole? And then you have to decide who's the asshole in this story. And um, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But it's not an original idea. It's just good content. So go ahead and scroll through. You're reading the titles. Oh, I'm reading the titles? Yeah, just just find one that's good. You can read them out loud. <laughs> and then you click on the little picture over here and it'll pull up the story. Or you mm-hmm. could read them silently. Well, I'm confused on what one to pick. We should have picked these beforehand. No, no, no. This is better on the air. Pick like <laughs> two and we'll choose between the two. Um... Should I pick crazy ones or simple ones? They kind of simple. Does that make That's sense? That's completely up to you. It's a lot easier to make her choose. What is? I don't know what this. Am I the asshole for saying no to all family vacations next year, or making my husband choose between divorced family trips? Divorce or family trips. Divorce so, family trips. Is she saying she wants to divorce him? It just sounds confusing. I know. Okay, so not that one. <laughs> Am I the asshole for selling my vacation apartment to one daughter even though my other daughter asked for it first? Does that interest you? I don't know. Let's do it. Is it better? <laughs> Does it get better? Oh, no. Am I the asshole <laughs> for telling my dad that I'd rather die from having what that i'd rather die from having to take care of my autistic brother i'd rather die than having to take care these people are really bad at spelling yeah i feel like we're gonna run into that yeah from the clips that i've watched that's a he'd rather die than take care i mean you gotta think of the type of people who post a story yeah i apologize (laughs) this is my first time people (laughs) it's her first time reading actually yeah I'm at a preschool level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's only getting a degree through second grade. These words are too large. <laughs> There's acronyms okay. involved. That's I need, impossible. Did one or the other sound better? Um, I don't know. Probably the two sisters. I feel like you'd relate to that more. Uh, yeah, I would. Ooh, I would. Okay. Now you say there's more words? I don't yeah, think yeah. so. Where, go back, go back, go back. You got to click on the picture. It'll load. It'll load. You gotta find it. Click on. The yeah, picture. in the future, everybody. We're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick these, or Bailey's gonna pr- pick them, and we're gonna print them out in front of time. So I'm reading off the paper. Yeah, that's. Yeah. So, like I said, I apologize. Well, we have literally no internet. We have nothing. So. Correct. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you want to read these completely? You want to switch out off every paragraph? <laughs> No, this is just so lengthy. Well, oh my! You gotta establish context. All right, you ready for story time, people? Okay. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. For some context, I am a seventy-eight-year-old woman living alone. I own a house that I live in, and my children grew up in, and a beachfront apartment. Jesus. This is where our family vacationed often when the children were growing up. I have two daughters that I'll call Violet and Rose in this story. Violet is the eldest and Rose is the youngest. Health issues have led to be unable to maintain this apartment, so I was looking to sell. I mentioned this briefly to Violet last year during the stage where I was only considering selling and she would and she said when I was ready she would buy it. I said that would be lovely and the conversation ended. When I decided to officially sell three months ago, I told Violet and Rose, and to my surprise, Rose also immediately offered to buy it. She had never mentioned wanting to buy this apartment, 
but she had been looking at other holiday properties around the area. How it just how rich are they? I don't know. Holiday <laughs> holiday properties? A holiday property? Huh? You just own something. And daughters just are just offering to buy things. I just feel like that's Well, if okay, if she's 78, the daughters are probably in their 40s. Yeah, but still. They're in their 40s and they want to buy a second house basically. On the beach. Yeah. Well, it's an apartment. Did it say where they were? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> so okay. probably rich. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Okay. Um, neither of them were budging on their offer, so I suggested that they co-pay, which Terrible was idea. which was met with the firm no from bro- both of them for reasons I won't get into. They were never close, unfortunately. Sad. Oh, that's <laughs> really sad. <laughs> After deliberating for some time, I made the decision to offer it to Rose. Despite the fact Violet and asked for it first for several reasons. Oh, here are the several reasons. One, Rose is only a two hour drive away from the apartment and would certainly get more use out of it. Rose was already visiting it at least once every two to three months, while Violet only visits it about every one to two years. Huh. Wow. Violet lives across the country, about a four hour plane ride away. With COVID lockdowns and travel restrictions, it will likely make it difficult for Violet to come for some time. Number two, Rose is married with three children that love the beach, while Violet is unmarried with a partner but no kids, and is out of childbearing age, if that matters. <laughs> okay, so they're not I think 40s? she hates this daughter. Yeah. Wow. She's, what, okay, out of childbearing age is like what? 40. Like and higher above. than 40? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You hit that around 40. So, okay, or, okay, yeah. okay. Number three. My eldest granddaughter, Rose's child, her favorite child, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> was already strongly considering living in it before I announced <laughs> selling. <laughs> living in it, yeah. Before I announced selling because she plans on attending college, university about 20 minutes away. Okay, so Rose's grand... Wait. Rose's Rose's child is going to college. Right. And wanted to live there. Narrator's grandchild was going to live there. Yeah. Grandma wants to sell. Okay. Oh, my. There's still more. I'm almost done. I believe selling to Rose means the apartment will get far more use and enjoyment out of it than if I sold it to Violet. And Violet will likely be able to still visit it for vacations if Rose permits and isn't using it during that week. Such a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> However, Violet is extremely upset with me over this and refuses to talk what? to no both kidding. Rose and I. <laughs> <laughs> she believes I'm disadvantaging her because she chose to focus on her career rather than having a family. And that is... And that it is highly unfair because she asked for it first. At the end of the day, it is my apartment, and I believe I have the right to choose who to sell it to. Violet has offered me way more to pay for the apartment in an attempt to sway me. I am nearly 80 and... Oh my gosh. I'm a nearly 80-year-old woman racked with health issues, to put it bluntly. (laughs) I don't have many years left in me, and I don't care about the money. So am I the asshole for choosing to sell... It to Rose, even though my other daughter asked for it first. I feel conflicted, so I would like to ask some outside opinions. Thanks. Huh. I'm not okay. reading that. <laughs> okay. Well, I should keep it up just in case. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't think she's the asshole. You don't think she's the asshole? No. <laughs> no, go ahead. Defend your case. I think all of her points are kind of valid. Her daughter lives in a different country county is it country four hour flight away yeah yes could be just a different coast maybe uh, well okay so if, if it's near a beach it's probably on the east coast right it's probably like in a Car- carolina across the country sorry. so the other yeah. daughter probably lives i don't know california ish Mm-hmm. doesn't matter though Maybe it matters. You think it matters how far away they live? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't have said my answer right away because I I'm thinking about it more. Here's but, what here's what I was thinking during the whole thing. Yeah. Why don't they put it in writing that the vi- 
Violet character gets to visit the apartment like one or two times a year automatically whenever she wants. Then she would have to pay for it as well. Would no. she have to? Maybe no? she has to pay for some of it. But yeah. like not. She doesn't have to maintain it. So selling no, she... it to her older... Is it the older daughter? I thought Rose, Rose. was the older. Rose is the older. Three kids. Yeah. Probably also out of childbearing age because that matters. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my... What I thought at first. Rose is definitely the favorite child. Mm-hmm. She hates Violet. Mm-hmm. Because she kept on coming up with things that, like... <laughs> she put in so many parentheses about Violet. Yeah. Childbearing age. I don't feel like... <laughs> um... She okay. lives far away and hardly visits. Here's a question. Do you think Rose is an asshole for taking her mom up on the offer? No. No? I feel like we need why? more context on why the sisters aren't close. Yeah. that That's probably the underlying problem. Yeah. And that's probably why Violet's upset at the mom and Rose. Because they actually probably grew up their whole lives with like the mom favoring Rose for some reason. And we just don't know why. We don't know why. Okay. Who's the assholes? Rose isn't an asshole for taking the mom. I don't think Rose is the asshole. You don't think Rose is the asshole? Is Violet an asshole for trying to outbid her sister? I don't think that makes her the asshole either. I, don't either. I think the mom should have been like, why can't you guys share it? Right. And split it. But they didn't want to do that for. Neither of them wanted to do it. No. I feel like the mom's the asshole. But that was because they weren't close. I feel like mom's the asshole. I would agree. I mean, if someone's an asshole, she's she's like a 6 out of 10 asshole. Yeah, I mean, she's not doing something terrible, but she's making, I don't know, one of her kids hate her more. Would your mom ever do this? No. Like, let's say for whatever reason, your guys' cabin, like, it's all yours now. Okay. okay. And your parents are old. And your mom's like, okay, who wants to buy it from us? We don't want it anymore. I think they would try to make us, like, split it. Right. Yeah. Th- your mom would never go, like... She would never... Bailey, here's the whole thing. No. No. <laughs> the right mom would be, like... That's what I think makes the mom the asshole. Yes. <laughs> such yes. such a dick move. Like, the right mom is making sure all her kids are happy at once. And I don't feel like either of them are happy right now. No. I mean, Violet's not talking to the whole family. Yeah. So, the mom's an asshole. Where's the, where's the dad? I don't know. Must be dead. Must be dead.